good morning. That's how cold it is. the last cars and coffee and I'm er I mean I'm early because I set up but it is super cold and well to be totally honest I don't know if anybody's gonna come out because uh, it's like 34 degrees it looks nice out here it does look nice but this is gonna be the last one for me as of right now that may change but I doubt it We'll see. We'll just have to see how how the next basically year goes. See what maybe things will change. I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, I uh, what a morning. We're on the phone camera because I left the GoPro at home. If that tells you anything. <laughs> it's been quite a morning already. We'll catch up uh, with you guys here in a little bit. Hopefully some cars show up and we can show you some cool cars. If not, I guess here we are. Couple Camaros, we missed the Cadillac V. There's a four door. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We went and looked at a car we did one time <clears> in <throat> Wichita. Yeah. Advertised it. It was rust free. You know, show car. That's pretty so sweet. Yeah. Guy just got it. I'm going to grab me some pictures here. Ooh, maybe. <clears throat> So far, five cars this time, doing pretty good. Pretty good since uh, the last time, so that's exciting. All right, guys, we're gonna read our devotional book now. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed those little clips from Cars and Coffee. That is it, unfortunately, for Cars and Coffee until maybe next year now. Things could change in the next eight months, but as of right now, I'm I'm out. I'm done. That was the last one. I appreciate y'all coming out, and uh, man, it's been what a what a ride. But let's get into that real right quick right after we read this. Today happens to be Saturday, October thirtieth. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Heaven's bells continually peal with that promise of my presence. Some people never hear those bells because their minds are earthbound and their hearts are closed to me. Others hear the bells only once or twice in their lifetimes, in rare moments of seeking me above, above all else. My desire is that my sheep hear my voice continually, for I am the ever-present shepherd. Quietness is the classroom where you learn to hear my voice beginners need a quiet place in order to still their minds as you advance in this discipline you gradually you gradually learn to carry the stillness with you wherever you go you need to step back into the mainstream of life when you when you step back into the mainstream of life Strain to hear those glorious bells. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Woohoo! So, yeah, uh, Cars and Coffee was really good today. I appreciate all that came out. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Colin's trying to show you his bubbles here. 
Now he's gonna hide his bubbles. So, all righty. Nope, we're not showing him your bubbles. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Oh, you wanna show him your bubbles now? Oh, I <laughs> You know, Friday they had, yesterday they had uh, their Halloween stuff at school and all that fun stuff. Yeah, this, like, for the yes, Riley had his little the concert. Headband. That was a ton of fun. But, man, my hair, what the heck is going on? Anyhow, with cars and coffee, it, it really comes down to like being a single parent, it is very difficult to commit to like three, four hours up there once a month. I know it's it's not even that much time, but it's just me and these boys get bored within the first 30 minutes and they're ready to leave or they have drank all seven drinks that we took. Or they have ate all 29 snacks that we took. This is a minor flashlight. Yeah. It's a minor one. Yeah, for a minor, yeah. <laughs> so, it's just really hard for me to be able to be up there and do that. <gasps> Plus, when sports come in and all that, it just, it's difficult. So, we've had a hit or miss um chances this year hey, where's Cohen? there were a few events where nobody showed up and that's totally it's okay i understand Hi. everybody's got their own lives we're all busy etc etc but man yeah. it just i really feel like god is like trevor it's time it's time to walk away something better is coming and so i keep my eyes on him because i know i know that we're going somewhere and I'm not going to have time for cars and coffee. Now, I hope that in the future, maybe I can still attend them. Who knows? Maybe things will change and I'll even be able to still operate them, run them, do them. Um, as of right now, there's no, no plans for the future. Uh, next year, I mean, Woo! we're playing chase now. Did you get wet? But no for right now that's that's the thing um as time goes on if you guys ew why you got toilet water on there boy hey hey hold on why you got poopy water on there running in the house i'm sitting here waiting for my hot pocket to cool off it's my lunch and then we're gonna go work on some other stuff but anyhow, that is, yep, that's it. We started this back in, gosh, was it 2017? I think it was the year that I got the Corvette. It might have been the year after 2018. I've been doing them since then. And it's been a really fun, long journey, and I've met a lot of awesome people. And I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support over the years. But I, yeah, I definitely, I feel like it's time to just another thing that I got to let go of that I got to let go of and put that time elsewhere, invest that time into something else because I feel that something else is coming and it's going to require my time. So I don't know what that is yet, but I feel like God's been telling me all year long, Trevor, it's cars and coffee. It's, it's this is it. This is the last, the last year, bud. So, you know what? The best thing to do is just put it in his hands because anything and everything in his hands is a whole lot better than it will ever be in my hands. So give it all to him and things will, things will flourish. Things will come, they will go. And that is what we need and what we're looking for. Anyhow, um, man, tomorrow's Halloween. That's going to be a lot of fun. I think, I think I've got a plan for Halloween. Um, I'm going to let you guys in on it if you're listening this far. And if not, well, you're not even hearing this. <laughs> Anyways, what I want to do is I want to set up like some trick or treat, like trick or treat stations outside somewhere. Maybe like a scavenger hunt for the boys. And, uh, go to the store have them pick out their candies we'll pick out our candy and then i'll set these up i don't know why i'm whispering they're not in the house <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What time is it? Is it bedtime? No, wait, other hand. Uh, yeah, uh, no, it's not bedtime. <laughs> Anyhow, I think that we can make a really cool vlog. Maybe, like, I can dress up at each of those little stations or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Try and do something a little fun, a little different for him. Um, because I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not... Since last year, I'm not uh, huge on this whole holidays and fairy tale things and believe in this, believe in that, believe in Santa Claus, believe in Tooth Fairy, uh, Easter Bunny, no, and Halloween is, I mean, really, it's it's a satanic day and that's not really, no. So with the boys, I'm like, okay, you gotta dress up as something like a superhero or something like that. Oh, somebody is hurt. Why, why didn't I? Mr. Skeleton Slinky got tangled up, so we got him untangled. Anyhow, uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Smash that thumbs up. Drop me some comments down below. Let me know of one of your favorite memories from Cars and Coffee. Even if it's not from one of ours. Even if it's from, say, London or uh, Texas. Who knows? Anywhere everywhere let's hear the stories drop them below don't forget to click that red subscribe button i'm gonna devour my hot pocket now while you guys go ask to get at least three of your friends to subscribe because we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers and that's gonna allow us to become monetized and you guys know this deal once we get there things are gonna start looking even better and better right now we got some little things in the works and they're coming up and i cannot wait until they take off just enough just enough for everybody to find out about. So stay tuned, click that red subscribe, ring that bell. We will catch you tomorrow in another Daily Arctic Vet Vlog. Whew. I need to take a breath, hold on. Have a great day and God bless y'all. Yeet.